in this video i'm going to show you how to create an amazing poster design in photoshop grab your mouse as we dive in so first and foremost we are going to create a new document then we are going to choose a solid color we are going to create another solid color With the layer selector, we change the blend mode to color pen. With the max selected, we grab a soft tone brush. We increase the opacity to 100 and foreground is set to black. We reduce the brush by the left bracket key and we make a few clicks. With the move to selected, we are going to reduce the opacity a bit. So we are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft tone brush and set foreground to white. So we are just going to click once. Then we are going to change the blend mode to overlay. Reduce the opacity. So we are going to create another layer. This time around we click just right here. So we scale it up. We click the jet mode to confirm and we change the blend mode to overlay as well. But we are going to reduce the opacity for this one to 56. So we are going to create a curves adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity just a bit. Then we can grab our resources now. So first of all, we are just going to copy everything onto the work area. So we right click and convert to smart object. Ctrl T. We make it smaller. This is way too small, but wait till you make it bigger a bit. We go for the next icon. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert to smart object, Ctrl T. And make it smaller. So we are going to drop the layer behind it. So we copy this item. Ctrl C to copy Ctrl V to paste. We right click and convert to smart object. Ctrl T. So we scale it down. We make it smaller. So we grab the test. Ctrl A and we click this icon to align vertically in the middle. With all these three items selected, we are just going to position them so that it stays in the middle. So we grab the hat now. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert to smart objects, Ctrl T and make it smaller. With the layer selected, we are going to create a max. Grab the pen tool. But first of all, we are going to reduce the opacity. In order for you to see what is not there, you need to gaze upon what is. 
you are just creating a selection we will subtract the selection so that the heart looks as if it's actually a potato so we create a selection around this way I'm taking my time to do this so that it is accurate, it is very precise. Alright, so once we have the selection, control, control enter to create the selection. You grab any of the marquee tool. You right click and you fill. So we are going to fill this, the area with the foreground color, where the foreground color is set to black and everything disappears. So anything in black is hidden. So now, we have subtracted the selection from that, we just increase the opacity back. So we apply curves onto this. Now we are going for shadows and highlights. Exposure. So we are applying shadows now. This is before and after with the max selected control I to invert. I'm going to reduce the opacity because that's way too much. Set foreground to white since we are going to paint. You make the bar smaller by the left bucket key. And then we are going to paint some shadows. Reduce the opacity a bit before and after. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mark selected, control I to invert. We grab a soft arm brush. We increase the opacity just a bit. Foreground set to white since we are going to paint. We are just going to paint some shadows behind this one, the potato. Let's make the let's increase the opacity a bit. So B for brush. You select this item and we are going to apply an exposure adjustment layer. We clip it onto the layer. With the mark selected, control I to invert. You grab a soft jam brush and you are going to paint some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mark selected, control I to invert. We are going to reduce the opacity here. And then we are just going to paint some shadows. We change it to black and we are just going to clean, erase some part of it. This is before and after. With our foreground set to black, we just erase the XX. So with this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Clip onto the layer, we are going for shadows. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. 
we grab ourselves some brush. And then we are going to paint some shadows. I'm going to apply another exposure adjustment in here. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. We increase the opacity and we are going to create some shadows. So we are going to paint some shadows just right here. before and after. So we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped, already clipped onto the layer. We are going for highlight. Right click and go for blending options. So we are going to play with this handle. Once it's set, you hold Alt and break it. So you hold, once you hold Alt, then you can break it apart and just move the slider a bit. With the mark selected, Control I to invert. Grab a soft hand brush. Reduce the opacity, set foreground to white. And we're just going to paint some highlight. I'm going to create a solid color. We are going to clip it onto the layer so we have the heart here. Change the blend mode to linear dot add. Right click and go for blending options. So we do the same thing. We move the slider a bit. We hold out and we break the handles. Click OK. Alright, this is it. Put the mark selected. Control I to invert. We grab a self turn brush. We are going to paint some highlight. Foreground cell to white since we are going to paint. So we make the brush smaller by the right left bucket key, sorry. And we are just going to paint some highlights on this hat. We have not done the contact shadow, so we will take care of that very soon. So we'll create a new layer. Just on top of the first guest layer. So we have the layer beneath all these items. We set foreground to black, opacity at 100. Right click and control and adjust the roundness of the brush. So you zoom in and you are just going to create some contact shadows. So you click, you click, then you use the opacity. You just need some contact shadows right there. So you create another layer. Then you click. Reduce the opacity. Create another layer. I actually like to separate all my layers so that you can control and manipulate them anytime.
Today we are going to create another solid kernel. We we'll copy the last S code. We are going to change the blend mode to overlay. With the max selected, we grab the gradient tool. So our four, we are selecting the preset that is foreground to transparent. Foreground and background set to white and black respective, black and white respectively. So we just drag and clean just this way. All right. Okay, we need it to be at the top, reduce the opacity a bit. Before and after. I'm going to copy this item. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. We change the blend mode to screen. And then we are going to apply a levels adjustment here onto the layer. So we clip it onto the layer. And we are just going to move this slider a bit. And we are going to apply a new saturation adjustment layer as well. To check colorize first. Then we play with this under. We play with the settings here. Until we have something we need. So with the layers connected, we create the mice. Control I to invest. Everything is gone. Everything is appears. We grab a soft and brush. And we're actually going to paint some back, but we want it saddle. So you right click and change the brush brownness to normal. We decrease the opacity a bit. Set foreground to white since we are going to paint. So we are just going to paint. But we don't want it way too much all around. That's why the opacity is set to somewhere around 712. All right, once you have everything in place, you press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers. Right click and convert to smart objects. Then we go for camera or so filter, camera or filter. We'll just play with everything around here. So we'll play with everything around here. Once we that is cool, then we'll just click OK. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.